Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here. Let's talk today about High Vision camera, High Vision in VR, and this issue with the network is unreachable. As you can see, I have the NVR and the message shows up for one of the cameras. In this case, I'm using an Axis camera, but it's the same with a real link camera, with high vision camera, it doesn't matter. The network is unreachable. It's a message that you can get if the network is not correct, okay? This is just an example so you can see how it works. But basically here I have cameras with different IPs. The first one is 192.168.1.52. That's the second one that's not working is 192.168.3.52. The other one that's working is 192.168.0.22. So basically I have the network here zero, I have one and I have three. I have three different networks here. Okay, and one of them is showing this message because the network is not available here. Okay, so let's understand this better so you can see later this camera working when I fix the problem. Here in the diagram, I can show you what I have. Here's the NVR with the IP 192.168.0.245. Let's call that uh, the network zero. And the NVR has a second network. 192.168.1. something. And then I have my camera connected to this network. High vision camera here is 192.168.1.52. So let's take a look here at the DVR. Here we go. Here is the interface of the NVR that connects to my switch. And here I have the IP 245 so basically the network zero let's call it network zero and the other one here is the network one so any camera that i connect here on one of these four ports is going to have an ip 192.168.1. something that's the case for this high vision camera so you need to understand that they are different networks here is one network and here is another one Okay, so this port here is connected to my switch. As you can see here in the other camera, I have a switch and the black cable is connected from my NVR. Everything that I connect to the switch, every camera is going to be available for the NVR. The last port, I have my access camera. Okay, so the access camera is connected to this port and of course the switch is connected to the NVR, then the access camera can be reachable from the NVR. But the only problem that I have here with the access camera when you come back to the NVR, it's the IP is not correct. Okay, I'm trying to use the three here instead of use zero. Back to the diagram. We see here that everything that's connected to the switch must have the zero uh, must be on the zero network. The computer, for example, 192.168.0.160, I have my computer connected to the switch. I have the access camera with the IP052. So that here's the, the problem. It should be 052, not three. Back here to the NVR, as you can see, I'm trying to use three here, okay? So that's the reason it doesn't work. When I come here back, you see the network is unreachable. So make sure you have your IPs correct on the, your network, okay? So the camera basically here has the IP 192.168.1.52 and this IP is given by the NVR. When you connect your camera to this port, the NVR gives this high vision camera this IP. 192.168.1. something, in this case 52. If I connect a second camera, it's going to give the second camera the IP 192.168.1. something as well. Let's say 53, for example, 54. So back here to the NVR, as you can see, I have three left ports, so, right? If you connect other cameras here, the cameras are going to get this IP 192.168.1. something. And be aware that you need to have your camera ready to get the IP from the NVR, meaning the camera needs to have a dynamic IP configuration there. You cannot go to the camera and put there a manual IP and set like that. Otherwise, the NVR is not going to give the camera an IP address. So my high vision camera here right now is getting 
the IP from the NVR, okay, for this network here. For the access camera is different. As you can see, the access camera is connected to my uh, other port here. As you can see, I have the LAN port, again, connected back there to the switch. And into the switch, I have the access camera connected to one of the ports. So basically everything that's connected to the switch can be reachable for the NVR using this LAN port, okay? And of course, here back in the diagram, I don't have the representation here, but this Wi-Fi router is also connected here to the internet, okay? So from the internet, I can also come here, uh, you reach my Wi-Fi router and also reach my network here and see my cameras from the internet. But that's a different story, right? Let's take a look here locally how it works. Basically, I have also the real link camera. You see again, the network is zero, 192.168.0.74 for one camera and 22 for the other one. A real link dual camera and a real link 510WA Wi-Fi cameras connected to my router. It's the same principle. The camera sends the video to the Wi-Fi router, which sends the video to the switch, which sends the video to the NVR. So I can have everybody connected here to the same NVR as long as I have uh, the correct IP range for every single camera. You see green everywhere because they are on the network zero. The only one with red is the camera connected here directly to the NVR. If I change the camera, if I remove the camera from here, the high fusion camera, and I connect this to the switch, then I have to use a different IP for this camera, not the one network anymore. It's gonna be this zero network because if I remove the camera from here and connect to the switch, so back here to that diagram, the camera will be connected here onto the switch, right? And then I have to change the camera's IP and give the camera's IP this, uh, the IP that uh, has zero on it, right? Even I do this manually, if I put the camera here or the router is going to give the camera this IP for the network, okay? So that's the idea. You just need to get your IP correctly. Then you don't, you don't have issues with the, this network is unreachable. And also the cables, right? If the cables here is bad, for example, it's not gonna work. You're gonna have network unreachable. So check your cables first, and then you're check your network, everything here, right? Make sure you have the correct IPs. So let me just fix the problem here with the, the access camera. So basically here, I'm going to change the IP of the camera. Here, instead of three, I need to have zero because based on our diagram, it's zero, right? And using the OnVIF protocol, Hikivision can connect to access camera using OnVIF, username, password, just a test here. So let's just put admin, it's just for test anyway. Then when I click connect here, okay, I click okay and wait for it to connect. Now it's supposed to work because now I'm using the correct IP. So I'm gonna solve this uh, network unreachable issue, okay? Basically, that's the way it works. And it takes some time because it's testing, it's trying to communicate with the camera. And you just need to take a look here at the status and see if it works, okay? Still not working, 052, now I got it right. For some reason it's not working. Let's see here, the username of, or the password is wrong, okay? Now it's a different problem. Okay, it's not, no longer the network is unreachable. Uh, as you can see, because I have a different message here, now I know the network is okay. I need to fix a different problem, that's the password. Let me try again. So basically I fixed the problem and now I have here admin, let's try again. Password. Put it wrong on the first time. Now it's tested it again. It's trying to connect to the camera, connecting, and here we go. It's blue now and it's supposed to be working. Uh, let's just exit here and you see it's working. Okay, it's night here already. As you can see, my camera it's here pointing to the window and it's dark outside, but it's working. So as you can see, I have different cameras connected here. I have a high vision camera using high vision protocol, and then I have different cameras such as Axis and RealLink using OnVIF, the protocol, and everything's working. So you need to make sure that you have the correct protocol as well. 
But first, make sure you have cable connected and you have the IP addresses correctly, right? And correct. And back here to my computer, we can also see that we can have access using the web browser. Let me just refresh it here. So as long as I have my computer connected to the same switch, I can also access via web browser, okay? Instead of access directly from the NVR, I can use the web browser and select the cameras. And here we go. Number one, two, three, and four. And Wi-Fi cameras take longer to show up here. That's normal. The communication is slower using Wi-Fi. If you have a lot of camera connected to the same network, your switch is a, a small switch and, and you are also using Wi-Fi, you're gonna have some issues for sure. So this camera here, it's not uh, as fast as this one because this one is connected via cable. So you can have some issues here depending on the distance from the camera to the router and things like that, okay? But basically it's working as you can see here in my NVR, I have all of them working and the network is unreachable, is solved. Okay, so I hope you understand a little bit better today so you can take a look at your NVR and solve these issues. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.